Hey guys, and welcome to Days Gone. We're now in a new camp called Diamond Lake, and it's more of a sort of military camp. If you guys missed the last episode, go and watch it. But we've probably got like maybe a third left of the game to go. Yes, I'm at like part 28, and I've still got a third of the game to go. That is crazy. This game is massive. Hope you guys are still enjoying it though, and uh, let's keep going. This apparently is a drifter, so perhaps we can share some knowledge about this camp, maybe. Hey, uh, you don't look very militia to me. Nah, um, man, name's Wade, Wade Taylor, you can call me Wade. Deacon St. John. <laughs> Holy Listen. shit, Deacon St. John, is your old man a preacher or something? No. <laughs> man, that is a hell of a name. All right, listen. You Wade. see this, man? This is some crazy shit. Yeah. Whew. So what, you joining up, becoming an army man, you playing soldier and shit? I don't know, maybe. Listen, <laughs> uh, you look like you just came in from out the shit, right? Yeah, man, yesterday, okay, yesterday. I've been, I've been waiting to see the colonel, whatever the hell that is. Traveling with some people, we got separated. You see anyone that looked like this around here? Uh, nah, man, ooh, she is a looker. I'd hit that, you know. <laughs> uh, I gotta go, man. They're checking me for lice or some shit. Good luck to you, Deacon St. John. Jesus, what a name. <laughs> He's got a point, Jesus, though. that dude's fucked up. <laughs> he wouldn't remember Sarah if she slapped him in the face. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, Sarah. Come on. Right, so we're looking We're're for clues. You're here. Somewhere. Maybe Any in clues tents. in here? Maybe in here. Nope, not here. Cute drawings. Collectible, oh, though. I'm glad Sarah and I never had kids. Losing them must have been. Yeah, losing a kid would be tough, man. The infirmary. Be in here? Background, that's where she would be, right? Oh, no. She's not here either. Damn it. Where is she? She can't be in here, surely. That's gotta be the one. Sarah? Sarah, you in here? Sarah? Shit, not here. Damn it. Oh, God damn it, she's not here. She's not here, but... Right, yeah, it yeah, couldn't be that easy. Not could it? He's got a point. St. John, are you on this channel? Corporal Russell said you had a radio. Yeah, yeah, uh, I'm here. Meet me at the gate. Why are you not I'm well, I guess we're heading out then. So this Why captain could potentially... Potentially, like no Sarah, or even be dating Sarah. Yeah, I mean, it's been two years since she's seen You're Deacon, so, so she might have moved Sergeant. on, which would be absolutely heartbreaking, to be honest. Like, all this time, been How's trying to find Sarah, and she's What's found that? someone else. That'd be horrible. Well, I guess we're heading out, though. Getting ready to ride out. You still coming? Ready when you are. Looks like you put a lot of work into this. Yeah, some. Open it up! I want that ring. That's my ring. Are you any good? Can you ride? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I can ride. Do you want to join the militia? You're going to have to prove it to me. See if you can keep up, St. John. Okay then, but I mean, I'm fully accelerating right now and my bike is not moving, so there's not much I can do about this right now. What the hell happened back there? I mean, it looks like a forest fire, but the stumps are charred, so that means that means that the timber was cut before it was burned. You got a good eye. We call it the dead zone. We use the timber to build our barricades and burn the slash. The outpost. We can see a horde coming long before it reaches us. Okay, what? You, you're gonna burn all the buildings too, so the newts and the swarmers have nowhere to sleep? You know you're freaks, huh? Like I said, I've been out in the ship for a long time. So that's your plan, huh? The militia, I mean, to burn everything to the ground? We're fighting a war out here, St. John. We'll do whatever it takes to win. A war? That's what it is, isn't it? A war? You've been out in the ship. You've seen the hordes? The only thing that's going to stop them is an army. Our army. It's going to take way more than an army. We have a plan. If the colonel lets you join, we'll fill you in. 
Hello, Silver Lake. You asked about survivors. You looking for someone? No. No, not really. I mean, look, there were some folks that I rode with once, and I thought maybe they ended up there. Uh, I thought maybe you were after someone. For a bounty, I mean. Yeah, no. I tracked men over long distances before, but not this far. No bounty's worth that. This is it. Hey, Corporal. The captain's here. It's done, sir. Make sure you make a marker. Yes, sir. All right. You two head back to Diamond Lake. Grab, uh, Taylor was his name? Yes, sir. Yeah. Take him to the Colonel. I'll be there in 1800. Sir? Military time, Corporal. You're supposed to know this by now. Oh, yes, sir. Get the fuck out of here. Yes, sir. You find something? Uh, how long is, uh... Vasquez. How long has Vasquez been with you guys? A couple of weeks, maybe more. <laughs> well, he's been busy. What the hell? You guys been having trouble with supply runs, marauder attacks? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go on foot from here. On foot? Why? <laughs> because Vasquez came out here for a reason. I can't track him from the bike. God. Ah. So let someone in. Where do we start? Being betrayed. It's been snowing, so uh, there won't be any boot prints. Come on. I want to look inside the cabin. Okay, I'm following you. Let's find some clues. Yeah, so they let this guy in, and then they started... Um, this guy started sharing information with marauders and taking supplies as we know supplies are very 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 important there's not much of them oh i think i found a cloak yes. a dog toy yeah why is there a dog toy here you uh <clears throat> you said he stole rations ammo yes this is an mre it's eaten so looks like your men rode up on him when he wasn't expecting it his bike's still out front which means that he went out the back so we track him out the back then <laughs> nothing like scrap good bit of scrap where are we going find another clue I believe might be useful what are we looking for? Wait, for? over here. Oh, what'd you find? The fence has been cut. Looks spiky and still. Rust. So it was cut recently. Yeah, come on, this way. Beacon's a good tracker. Very good tracker indeed. Looking for some more hey, clues. Hold on for a second. Look, over here. Tracks? Ah, uh, yeah. That We're in luck. This way. Wait, 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 hold up. Uh, you find something? Yeah, shell casing. Recently fired. He, uh, well, he stopped to shoot at something. Come on, down here. Oh. What is that? That is a wolf. Nice, headshot. Sorry, Mr. Wolf. Had to be done. Oh, there's still more. Damn it. Careful! Look out! More wolves! I see him! There we go. At last. Time for the shotgun. There we go. How do you know Sarah, my friend? I want to take a look at this. That's the last of them. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it. Nice work. Yeah, worth some credits. Might as well skin them. Yep. Because there's a lot of upgrades I want. Especially for the bike. I'm hoping potentially uh, we better unlock some more guns as well at this camp. Hopefully it opens up. Wolf meat. This looks like a deer that's been shot. Yeah. Looks like the MREs weren't enough for your man. Clean gunshot right through the head. Yeah, the wolves must have heard the shot. Decided they wanted it more than Vasquez. Yeah, the rest of the pack came at us from back that way, from the east. You think they chased off Vasquez, leaving one to guard the carcass? That's my guess. Come on, let's see if you're right. Let's find out. 
You guys got a lot of wolves out here? The ones that aren't infected, I mean? Yeah, we get reports almost every day. When I was a kid growing up, there were no wolves in Oregon. I mean, a few coyotes, but no wolves. They'd been driven to extinction by ranchers and farmers, timber companies. Yeah, it looks like they're making a big comeback. I can't walk any quicker right now, by the way. I'm trying to, but I can't. That is a wolf, a dead wolf, yep. Hold so. up, hold up, hold up. What is it? It's a backpack. It's one of ours. Looks like they almost got to him. And he shrugged off the pack to get away. No, 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 to buy time. He landed on his ass, tried to scramble away, but then the wolf lunged. Vasquez dropped him. Two shots. You can tell all that. Yeah. Beacon is a tracker. Very good at tracking. Could be useful Wait, for any camp. A swarm. Ooh. Near our grave site. Oh, I think this one is marked on our map. They're scattered all over the region. Oh my god. Why, uh, Vasquez came through here. Let's go around. Exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. Definitely go around. Are we gonna follow the captain? John, this way. Yeah, right there with you. Oh I gotta God. say, I'm getting tired running and hiding from these sons of bitches. You ever take on a swarm? Yeah, I've done it before. You just gotta keep moving. Well, look, if you're gonna join the militia, you must stay focused on the mission. We're not out here to fight freaks. Being in the shit, killing freaks, it kinda goes hand in hand, doesn't it? Pretty much okay, the same. Um, put some distance between us and the graves. Ah. The cold weather's gonna bring out even more of them. I think they can smell a corpse from about a mile out. Part of our slash and burn strategy is to find these grave sites, dig them up, and burn them along with everything else. Yeah, well, good luck with that. I've seen hundreds of them. It's just in this part of the state alone. Yeah, we gotta start somewhere. All right, where now? Keep heading east. Hey, there's a road ahead. Hold up a second. Oh, I see some tracks. Perhaps a motorbike. What do you think? Is anyone else tracking them? Not that I know of. Huh. No, but he's either dead. Or he's got a lot of friends. You see how his tracks have been overridden by bikes. A lot of bikes. Hmm. Okay, come on. Let's see where they're heading. Well, this is a good cold weather brings out the freaks. Yeah, yeah. Cold, snow, rain, hell, even clouds. Well, like I said before, you know your freaks. When we get to command, there's some people who want to talk to you. People. The colonel will fill you in if he lets you join. Yeah, yeah. I think you said that already. People Let's being Sarah. I just don't want you to get your hopes up. Hey, don't worry about me. Wait, hear that? Yeah, it's coming from the logging camp over there. Is that on your map? Yeah. Well, oh, that means it's also on Vasquez's map. Come on. If Vasquez is there, what would your strategy be? Well, he's not alone. We know that from the tracks. What's that militia penalty for going AWOL? Hanging by the neck until dead. Why? Well, it means Vasquez isn't coming without a fight. You see your man? Yeah. That's him. Oh, looks like you guys need to start doing background checks on your recruits. He seems to be right at home. Well, let's wait here. I'll radio for backup. Get your goddamn hands off me! Oh, oh this one's a fighter, boys! On, what do you think? Oh, come on, Vasquez. Oh, see about that. Oh, hell no. What? Uh, I just got this problem with assholes who hurt unarmed women. I'm giving you an order. Order? You see me wearing a red armband? You don't give me orders yet. You do whatever the hell you want. It's about to kick off. Let's do it. Where should we start? Good question. Wasn't me. What? Our finger slipped. What is he doing? Uh, <laughs> I don't know what the captain's doing. This guy's gone completely mad. Oof. Where is he going? I'm so confused. 
I don't know what that man is doing. <laughs> Very odd. There's a guy there. I can now see him through walls. Whoop. So that is three out of 15. Still quite a way to go yet. Just one over here. Try and get a little bit closer. I love my crossbow. So, so good. <laughs> Pretty one of the most. Oh, oh. What? John, man coming. Great. This one. Oh, I think they may have heard that. I don't know why she survived that. I mean, they were, they were snipers. Great. This is going nice and loud and proud. Unfortunately, it's all right. Almost half are gone. There's someone behind that bit of cover. Cancel that. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Loud and proud. Shoot him! Shoot him! Stupid drifter. That's not very friendly, is it? Oh, it's a captain, what the hell? <laughs> what do you mean? Acting very, very strange. And I've got to come take down that sniper. There's the sniper. Not many left. Only three more left. Again, again, so has gone a bit Coming. loud, but Pull back. Pull back. Oh, fifteen. Damn. Probably the, probably the biggest camera taken on so far. That the last of them. I mean, that might be. Yeah, I think so. Nice work. Come on, let's go deal with your man. Vasquez? He isn't my man. Not anymore. Whew, okay. Wait here. Stand guard in case we missed anyone. You can handle him? He won't know what hit him. Oh, we can definitely handle him. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Right, let's craft some monotorbs. Searching these bodies as well. Need all the materials we can get. How long has that body been there for? <laughs> Completely snowed over. It's definitely worth searching them anyway. I don't know what happened there. I shot this person with the crossbow. Normally it's just an instant kill. With the perk. For some reason she sort of shrugged it off. And then obviously she made like a screeching sound. In agony. Panicked. Shax, shut up tight. This door's closed apparently. I'll try and jimmy open. open. How do I get inside? Ah, oh, damn it. Door's jammed. Hey, you're warning me. I think I'll find another way in. Hmm. I'll take that. Rescue the hostage. Try my best. Annoyingly, I have to loop all the way around again. <laughs> Try and find a way to uh, get to her. <laughs> hmm. 
What if we can sneak underneath? Yeah, this is it. Aha. Uh -huh. Not underneath, here. but a different entrance. Whoa! Is that the penis? Hey, whoa, 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 Easy, easy. I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm just friendly. Help. I don't need your goddamn help. I can see that. Okay. I'm just gonna move over here. And she's off. Man, she didn't need our help at all. Stay the hell away from me! Hold on, hold on now. We're not with them. You think I give a damn who you are? Okay. Okay. I think she's just gonna go. I think she's like, just doesn't trust anyone. Which is fairly understandable. What the hell was that? Just your typical damsel in distress. <laughs> Vasquez? Not. Done. Way done. Definitely done. Captain Corey, come in. This is Corey. We're here, heading up the road to the main gate. Hold your position there. We're coming. What about the enemy? They're dead. They've been uh, uh, neutralized. Uh, hold your position. Corey out. Come on. Yeah, we still killed them already. Just two of us. Killed 15 people. We brought up your bikes, Captain. Thought we'd save you the walk back. That'll be all, Corporal. So how'd I do? Did I pass? Pass? Oh, you've been watching me all day. I figured this was what? Some kind of test. <laughs> no. Nothing quite as formal as all that. As you can see, our pool of recruits isn't what it used to be. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. You passed. This is the third day in a row. Oh, oh yes, I passed. You ready to meet the colonel? <laughs> yeah, sure. Why the hell not? <laughs> sure. So, St. John, where did you serve? Before the shit went down. Hey, you know what an MRE looks like. You know how to recon an enemy position. You know cover in advance, tactical maneuvers. So, where did you serve? Marines? Army? I try not to talk about it, you know? I mean, first year out here, seemed like anyone who used to wear a uniform had a target on their back. I, uh, I was in the Army, 10th Mountain. I did a full tour in Afghanistan. So how about you? Anyone who's ex-military has a, a certain bearing. None of your soldiers have it, but you do. Like I said, you got a good eye. I was in the Air Force 10 years, part of SAC. There ain't no missile silos in Oregon. I was on vacation, believe it or not. I was lucky. Before SATCOM went down, I got hourly reports from across the country. You think it was bad out here? Everything east of the Mississippi was overrun within two days. Two days. Two days. That's all it took. So, are you familiar with this area? Yeah. I grew up in a town north from here. Uh, it's called Farewell. You know it? No. Uh, it sounds like a fitting place to be living at the end of the world. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about it. So, maybe you have been here before. Yeah, I've been here. Uh... A few summers back, me and my old lady, or my wife, we stopped by here on our honeymoon. You got a pic? Oh, of your wife, I mean. <laughs> Don't show it. Her name was Carrie. We were married 12 years when... Anyway, it was a long time ago.
Hmm. You know, I, I think this might mean keep out. Huh? Oh, no, no, that doesn't apply to us. Why, because we can't read? Because we don't obey the law. <sighs> Speak for yourself. After you. Mm. All right. Uh, you know, making me a co-conspirator, not very chivalrous. Chivalrous what? No, it means, um... Right. I never learn. I'm sorry about that. Oh my god, you should have seen the look on your face. Oh, I bet it was funny. Yeah, if I'd owned a cell phone, I'd have taken a picture. Well, for just this once, I'm glad that you don't. Oh, come on, don't start on that again. Hey, I didn't say anything. You brought it up. You just did. So I guess he's been here before. And this was the date. It's a very pretty place. And right, Deacon has never owned a so mobile. So where are we before. going? Just follow the trail. You'll see that it's not that far. <laughs> what would my mom say if she knew I was out on a midnight stroll in the middle of nowhere with an outlaw biker? Well, I don't know. She'd say, "Honey, you better wear your sweater." Very funny. Yeah, she wouldn't say anything, you know? You weren't supposed to tell them about us, remember? Oh, come on, Deacon. I said that a long time ago. You know I didn't mean that. Hey, look, I'm not judging. I'm just... I mean, I, just, I haven't told my old man. That's because your father's dead. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, there's that. Probably a slight issue. Has he still got that no The question man? is, have you told anyone in the MC that you're dating a nice girl from Seattle and not some bimbo from whatever strip club you guys live in? Oh, well, oh, oh, wait a second. No, we don't live in a strip club. I mean, we have a lifetime membership there. That's true, but we don't live there. And second, uh, I did tell them. Yeah, matter of fact, I did. Wait, you, you did? <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on, don't sound so surprised. They find your PhD is to be very sexy. <laughs> oh, yeah, I bet. Nice, gentle, relaxing so, stroll. So, you know this is way past my bedtime, right? Oh, I know. <laughs> come on, stop. I mean, I really do have to get up early tomorrow. Yeah? Uh, how's that going? I mean, you, uh... Well, you never want to talk about it, so... It's nothing, it's just... Ugh, it's just this project, I and mean, we've got these execs flying in from New York to Autogar Progress, and the suits at our facility are installing a new lab without even showing me the spec, and... Ooh, well, I thought you didn't want to talk about it. <laughs> Sorry, it's just... You know what, like I said, it's nothing. Anyway, thank you for dragging me away from all that. Yeah, no problem. Was Sarah behind the outbreak? Oh, wait, wait. Makes Is you wonder. This what you wanted to show me? Say what? Well, these are marijuana plants, and that's an irrigation system. So this here, this is a pot farm. Oh, hey, yeah, look at that pot farm. Oh yeah. <laughs> you dragged me out in the middle of the night to the middle of nowhere to show me the MC's illegal growing operation. Uh, yeah. I mean, you got me. <laughs> I was hoping that you could give us some tips, you know, cultivation. Put all those PhDs to work on something actually useful. Jesus, TQ, what? <laughs> okay, I get it. This is not actually what you wanted to show me, right? No, of course it's not. Come on, keep following the trail. We're almost there. What you're showing, Sarah? Come on, Ugh, tell you us. You think I would learn? You think I would learn, but I never learn. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Never learn. Oh my god. God, look at that moonlight. It is, it's so beautiful. Keep Whoa. going. Uh, we're almost there. You ever wonder what it would be like if just everywhere all at once the lights went out and everyone could just see the world just like this? What, you mean like all dark and shadowy and depressing? I mean the moonlight, the wildflowers, the fireflies. 
I see you were kidding again. Okay, you don't take anything seriously. <laughs> oh, I take everything Never. seriously. Oh, yeah, right. I do. You do not. Like when I suggested moving some of my stuff over to your place, you pretended that I was joking. Uh oh, -uh, no, that's not true. I pretended I didn't hear you. There's a big difference. You should have seen the look on your face. And you know, I do have a cell phone and I took a picture. You want me to show you? My God, you're a scientist. Can we be rational about this? Okay. First of all, all I said is that we should think about moving in together. You know, because we get to spend more time together and, you know, take the next step. What's irrational about that? I have a toothbrush at your place. Oh, I'm so sorry. You know what? You're right. That is a huge commitment. Well, I mean, do you know how much a good toothbrush costs? Okay, see, there you go again. Every time I try to talk about our future, you turn it into a joke. Okay, all right. We do need to talk about it, and we will talk about it, but just hold on for a second, because I want to... <laughs> I want to show you something, okay? See? This is why I brought you out here. That is pretty. <sighs> wow, how beautiful. Was it worth it? God, yes. <sighs> hey, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Yeah? <gasps> Deacon? Will you... Will I? You, uh... <laughs> <laughs> so that a yes? On two conditions. Name them. Okay, well, the first one is that we don't have one of those biker weddings where you say that you're going to ride me as much as your bike. <laughs> Done. I couldn't promise that anyway. Oh, stop. Okay, the second one... The second one is that you never leave me. Done. Did you just break your biker ring on my finger? Uh, you know what? <laughs> I think I probably Ooh. did. <sighs> <sighs> Look at it. It's so cute with its little fangs just like clenching onto the chain. You know, nothing says true love like dog skulls. Dog skulls. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what does it say there? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you knew Latin. Come on. No, oh, it's. Morier Invictus hmm. means death before defeat. Wow, I like that. Well, you're gonna get me like a real ring, though, right? Not that this one's no, not absolutely, great. because I, I just you know, thought that's my ring. You right, it's your that. ring. Right. Something more simple, without things. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. No, it's your room. It's the lab. I gotta get it. Okay. Hello? Yeah. No, 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 it's fine. I'll be right there. Okay, bye. Is everything okay? I don't know. They need me back there. What? I gotta go. Uh, th this minute? Like, th this time of night? I'm sorry. I have to go, but I promise I'll make it up to you. Okay. Come on. So that's when they got engaged. I might try and do like a video in the future maybe where we put all the scenes in like the right order. It'd be quite an interesting um, progression between Sarah and Deacon because it's quite sort of muddled, I guess. So we go to the wedding and then we go to the engagement and then we go back to where they met. My wife's name was uh, Beth. No, I don't have a pick. Let's go. You lie. I think that's that's wise though, to be honest. I think it's wise. Just in case she is alive. Um the Colonel doesn't like relationships and activities. Ninety-six <laughs> percent. That is oh man, that's oh, what's that? Ooh. Superior mace. Oh look at wow. What did you drop? I'll take that. Look at that. Damn, what a good find. I went straight past that. Oh, my bike. There it is. Let's go. Not unusual, you know. I'm sorry, what's that? To not have any photos of your 
wife, family. Yeah, why do you say that? Back in the day, everyone used smartphones. That's where we kept all our photos. When phones went away, the cloud went away, our photos went with them. Yeah, I guess I hadn't thought about that. My wife, Carrie. Her father was a photographer. Old school. Dark room, chemicals, all that. Too stubborn to embrace the digital age, I think. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have any photos either. Yeah, well, I hated him. Cell phones, I mean. Seemed like everyone walked around with their noses buried in the damn things. I never no. owned one. Interesting. I never How'd you manage one. that? I worked as a mechanic. I, uh, I had my own shop. Probably had the last landline in Farewell. Is Sarah in this compound? This is like a fortress. You guys are taking this shit seriously. The Colonel believes with enough motivation and discipline, we can achieve anything. Come on, hurry your ass up. I'm going as fast as I can. Just move it! Is that your idea of motivation? The Colonel has set up a work camp on the south side of the island for those unfit to serve. Some of them require extra encouragement. How bad? Mm -hmm. Come on, follow me. Yes, sir. Extra encouragement. Stand up there with the others. Good luck, St. John. <laughs> Got your ass too, huh? Whatever. Hey, man. It's good to see you again. St. John, right? Son of a preacher man? Taylor, what's this son of a preacher man shit you keep saying? I'm just kidding with you, man. Hey, do you have any luck? What? That the woman you were looking for, you and your peeps are riding with. No. I need all your jewelry, watches, shit like that. Come on, in the bag. What? Sure, man, whatever you say. The hell you say? Recruits aren't allowed personal effects. Besides, shit's just gonna get stolen. Come on, cough it up. Oh, yeah, shit's gonna get stolen. Goddamn bullshit. Tin hut! At ease. Visitors are not welcome here. You are here because you were invited, recruited by my trusted officers. When you answer me, start by giving me your name, last name first. Getting by, same as everybody. Name. Atkins, Crystal, sir. How many men have you killed? Before or after? Answer the question. Fuck you! We have all done things that we're not proud of. What? To survive, to stay alive. The Almighty understands this. Right. The Almighty forgives yeah. this. Amen! Amen! <laughs> but here, on this woman's face <laughs> are the footprints of Satan. <laughs> Prison tattoos. Proof of what you once were and no doubt still are. It's people like her that are responsible for bringing the wrath of the Almighty down upon us yeah. all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take her to the work camp. What the? Ah. Fuck you! Get her out of here. Get Fuck you! Come all. on, gorgeous. Let's go. Goddamn go. redneck assholes! Get off of me! <laughs> get 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 her out swear here. God! What about get you? Me. What uh, you Taylor. Uh, wait. Huh? And um, no, sir. I uh, never been to jail. Never killed anyone. Nothing like that. You've been in the shit for a long time. Yeah, I mean, I, I know. I know how to shoot stuff. My, my dad took me hunting when I was a kid. Was at, at a camp near Klamath Falls, it got... And how about you, son? You know how to use a gun? St. John, Deacon. Yeah, I know how to use a gun. You're a drifter. 
Hold out your right arm. Tenth Mountain. Iraq? Afghanistan. Honorable service, and don't lie to me. I'll know. Served one tour, served with honor. Hated every goddamn minute of it. <laughs> well, shalt not lie. Good man. Hold up your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to support and defend the new constitution of these United States? Against all enemies, natural and unnatural, to bear witness and support to the same, and to obey all orders without question. So, do you swear? I swear. Dismissed. Walk with me, son. Tiny bit of lip sync issues there. At the end. Captain Curry doesn't bring me many recruits these days. He must think highly of your combat skills. Oh, I've been in the shit a long time. You know your way around the freaks? Yes, sir. I, uh, I know as much as anyone, sir. Good, good. In here. We'll have the doc take a look at you. Pulse is strong. Good heart rate. Got a pretty nasty burn there. How'd that happen? Uh, had a run in with a wood stove. Wood stove, huh? Who dressed this? I did. No está mal. Not bad at all. Thank you. Keep it dressed or you're gonna lose that arm. You hear me, amigo? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I hear you. I want you to check back with me in a few days. Got it. Well, Doc? Ah, he's fit to serve. Lo bien. You doing runs out in the shit? Mm -hmm. Sorry, Doc. Uh, yeah, tiene novia. Uh, he's spoken for. Let me guess. The Wizard Island Witch. Vaya con Dios. Good luck, amigo. Let's go, son. I normally don't tolerate insubordination, referring to an officer as a witch. But I make exceptions for some of my more eccentric officers. Yes, sir. I make exceptions. Because every man and woman still living has a role to play. Do you believe in God, St. John? Never gave it much thought, sir. Well, it's high time that you did. He has a plan for us, all of us. And my part is this. Who's a witch? Sorry, I'm so confused right now. What, like another higher up? They call her the witch? Sir? This place, I had a vision. Oh, nothing so grand as those described in the Old Testament. No flaming chariots or burning bushes. I simply woke up one morning before God's plague had rained down upon the world and knew that this was the place. Crater Lake, uh, Wizard Island. I call it the Ark. Are you familiar with the story of Noah's Ark? Yeah, I mean, yes, sir. I mean, everyone's, everyone's heard of it. Indeed. You'd be surprised how few have read the Bible or the Book of Revelations. You mean Genesis, Noah's story. I mean, um, that... It's, it's the Book of Genesis, sir. Yes, of course. Okay, son, let's get you squared away. Whatever you say. Now... We don't have much in the way of uniforms, I'm sorry to say, but uh, I think that... Uh, oh, here. Try this on. <sighs> Seems to fit. I'll take that. Well, if you don't mind, this is a gift from an old friend. An old friend? <laughs> Not many of those left anymore, are there? No, there are not. Okay, soldier, but I don't want to see you wearing it. You're one of us now. And normally we start new recruits in the rank of private, but since Captain Curry has vouched for your experience in the field, we are starting you out at the rank of corporal. Thank Congratulations, you. son. Thank you, sir. Yeah, let's get you some work.
All right. Now, what was I saying? Uh, you were telling me about the Ark, sir. Yes, the Ark. What you see here is only a small part of it. Behind us is a whole network of caves and vents that lead from here up to the Cone's Peak. When our work is complete, they will be filled with thousands of seeds, plants, computer files, and books. The world may die, but our achievements in medicine, science, and technology will not die with it. No, sir. But the island is more than just an arc, Corporal. It is a stronghold, a fortress. Here at the North Gate, we are stockpiling enough munitions to take the fight to the freaks. We have rifles, grenades, heavy machine guns, and RPGs. We have the equipment to make ammunition, every type, every caliber. This is our mechanical engineering area. If you need your bike repaired, see the officer on duty. And as you can see here, courtesy of the old National Guard, we are building a fleet of trucks and other vehicles. Once the hordes are cleared from the highways, we will begin to rebuild the roads and bridges. Your slash and burn strategy may stop newts and swarmers, but it won't clear the highway. It won't, it won't stop the hordes, sir. We are aware, Corporal. The hordes. The hordes are a different beast entirely, aren't they? But we have a plan. Plan, sir? Benjamin Franklin once said, by failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. We are not going to fail. Very confident. Very the confident heart of the indeed. army lives here, at the gate, ready to move on my command. These tents house hundreds of women and men, just like yourself, who have pledged and sworn their lives to the fight. But I have something else in mind for you. An assignment that requires more than just the ability to survive in the shit or use a gun. Are you up for it, son? Uh, yes, sir. Wherever you need me. How you asked how we were here? going to defeat the Horde? Let me show this is ridiculous. you. Oof. So where are the Hordes? And how do we take them down? Now! Shit! You okay, Lieutenant? Oh, hey, Colonel. Sorry about that. Too much acetone in that batch. Lieutenant Weaver is our chemical engineer. He's working on new ways to, to blow shit up. Feet the enemy. Sorry. But, yeah. Uh, name's Weaver. James. St. John, Deacon. All this militia shit's just for show, right, Colonel? Corporal St. John is new to Corey's unit. If you need anything from out in the shit, he's your man. Oh, shit, yeah. yeah. There's a couple of things I need. What are you working on? Oh, just the new gelling agent combining naphthenic and palmitic acid. Mm, you working on napalm? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this dude knows his shit. Uh, just a lucky guess. Uh... <clears throat> Sorry to interrupt. Oh, any time. Oh, Colonel. I'm getting real close, Colonel. Very close. That's good. That's really good. Where are you going next, Colonel? Wizard Island Witch? That'll be all, Lieutenant. Again, who's this Again, wizard? Wizard Witch. More eccentric officers. No need, sir. We have one final stop. As much as I believe in Lieutenant Weaver's work, what you're about to see could be, I think, our path to victory. In here. Okay. So this this is the witch. Alright, what is this? Ma'am. I got everything on the requisition. It's Sarah. Does it's this Sarah. look like fabric softener? No, ma'am. Okay, well, why don't you read it? <sighs> Active ingredients. Chlor chlor chloroform and uh a turp turpin turp Get out. Shit. Get out! Matt, I can't do this if I have to do my own supply runs. I got it covered. Lieutenant Whitaker, this is Corporal St. John. He's a new member of Corey's unit. He's got some experience out in the shit. 
Read this. What? Read this. I mean, you can read, can't you? Active ingredients, chloroform, aterpenol, benzo alcohol, ethylathic acid. Good enough. When can he start? Ah, I'll leave you to it. Carry on, Lieutenant. Oh, my God. Leave us. Stand at attention. Sarah, I don't. No. No, you you're, you're dead. You're dead. You're supposed to be dead. Hey, hey, hey. hey. You're dead. It's okay. You're dead. I'm right here. Wait, wait a, wait a second. I, I don't understand. I couldn't I, I find you. you had died, and I. Uh, no, we were overrun. Was your and we had to go south. We, Nero, they yeah, said Nero, that no one no, made I it out. Ryan and I Farewell was overrun. They said that everybody was mountain, dead. And I didn't think that. I never thought I would I see, would you again. see you again. Hey, hey, listen. Here. We can ride out of here. We'll pick a direction. We won't hey, look back. Come please. on. No, no, Deacon. I can't. Are they forcing you to stay here? No, you don't understand. We're fighting a war. Don't you see? This is a war that we can win. I didn't come here to fight a war. I can be helpful. I can make a difference, but I... I can't go with you. I have to stay here. Don't you get it? You, you can stay here with me. Help me. Look, afterwards, whatever you say, we, we, we can go wherever you want. <clears throat> Colonel's looking for you. Whatever you say, ma'am. Wait, wait a second. Your requisition form. Thank you, soldier. Not quite how I imagined it to play out, but she's alive. She's alive. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wizard Island. That's a weird name. <laughs> Very weird name. 100% I remember. Unlocked. What have we got? Health cocktails. Custom skin for the bike. Oh man, that was crazy. That actually just happened. From St. Stuff. John to Lieutenant Weaver. Come back. St. John to HQ. This is Weaver. What can I do for you, Corporal? Uh, your requisition form says you need mercury. Any idea where I can get it? Why aren't you working? Yeah, sure. I should have written that shit down for you. It comes from, uh, Cinnabar. Corey's unit scattered out of mine north of Diamond Lake. Head there, radio me when you arrive. Yes, sir. Hey, between you and me, if the colonel isn't around, stop with all the yes sir, no sir bullshit, all right? Makes me feel old. All right, fair enough. Corporal. Sarge. Hey, I'm uh, new around here. Name's Deacon St. John. Pleased to meet you. I'm Ella Salazar. Just call me Sal. So, uh, this is where I bring bounty ears? Mm-hmm, this is the place. If you have any freaker ears, bring them to me. All right, Got it. Corporal, Cheers. you be well. I will be well. Uh, Ooh, weapons. Hey, you. 
I haven't seen you around here before. Got to be weapons. Name's Jacob D'Angelo. Oh Everybody calls me D. St. John, Deacon. That. So, uh, you're the guy to come to for hardware? You got it, pal. You need guns? I got guns. If I don't have it, it was never made, you know what I mean? Uh, great. I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Man, there is... so many weapons I want right now. And <laughs> I can't afford them. And I don't have the trust. It feels like we've almost there gone back, go. like, so far. Like, we clearly have a lot of this game still to go yet. Yeah, okay. And that was after hey, a long episode. We've been introduced to, like, so many new characters as well. It's absolute <sighs> madness. New guy? Oh. Name's Caleb. Caleb Tomlinson. Just, just over the past. St. John. Yeah, I, I just rode in. Oh, cool, man. Hey, listen, if you need something for your ride, you come see me. Between us? Lucas, the Canuck over at Diamond Lake, he'll rip you off, man. Great, well, keep that in mind. To be honest, though, you don't really do much. You give me fuel and you repair my bike. Okay. That's not... I want more than Corporal. that. Later. A lot more than that. Whew. Let's sell my food. So I've been introduced to two camps. A brand new part of the map, a bunch of new characters. We've been introduced to Sarah. I mean, it's just been insane. I don't know what to say. That's it. Mental. Cannot wait for the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a big old thumbs up, and I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.